morning. Welcome to ABC 123 Trader. Today is March 29th, 2021. And let's start taking a look at, I guess will be the NASDAQ futures today. And a little bit more education about uh, understanding how to pinpoint trades. Okay. Before we start, all forms of trading carry a high level of risk. So you should only speculate with money you can afford to lose. You can lose more than your initial deposit at stake. Please ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize yourself with the risks involved and if necessarily seek independent advice. U.S. Government Required Disclaimer, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, trading financial instruments of any kind, including options, futures, and securities, have large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the options, futures, and stock markets. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Alrighty, now let's get into this. Okay, good morning, everybody. I'm just only going to do a really quick video. So you can understand a little bit about uh, a yesterday's video that I created. And I, I want to show you what happened from the previous night to current. Okay. So what I'm going to do, last night I was creating the a video and I was talking about block trades or areas of interest of pinpointing trades. And the key is where the best area of interest when I was looking back in time, I'm going to create a brand new chart here. Okay, and let's go 240 here. Okay. And what I want to show you is of, of when you're thinking about bars like this, and this is a four hour time frame, there was a lot of volume buying and selling in this area. So we know the market makers has a lot of the liquidity then they punch for profit and they get their liquidity and they punch for profit over and over and over again and then what we do is we work back in time slowly but surely or to a shorter time frame in order uh to get get uh, the best position possible okay now so when i created the one indicator there's a few of them that i added on on my the video i did yesterday There we go. Here was an order block that was last night, which it literally touched on the line and rejected. Okay. And now I don't have an, enough days of uh, data here, but there's we have a super low here. So maybe it might come down one more time and try to reach another order block or go to this level here that I was showing. Oh, no, this must cancel. So and then as you can see here, we have a lot of buying and selling in this zone. So they're still playing in that area, see? Now, when we go to, I'll, I'll get out of a one minute chart. Let's do a, uh, maybe a 15 minute chart, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. What you'll notice, last night, I'm gonna open up this chart. When I created, there is a template on the Discord, which I called order block. Okay, now, as you can see, I have order blocks another order blocks another order blocks okay so the purple order block that i created and i'm using a very very sensitive swing i made the thick line of state blue but i'll just change it to maybe something else that you can really see it i'll make it uh you know, something really i don't care just something really bright this crimson pink it's nasty okay so, and then what I also have is I have uh, the regular order block and I also have an orange red one at a one hour chart. Okay, now when you look at it, here's the purple line of the four hour and here's the orange line of the one hour. So when you think about it, This region right here is going to be very sensitive for market makers to enter a trade. To buy in, is it impulsed out? And as you can see, literally, literally, what you can see here, I'm not up at this time. What I want to show you 
it literally entered within a few ticks. See, 1808. Let's see how much tick difference that is. 2 points, or 2 ticks, I mean. So if you actually had an entry on the line, you can always watch to see if it's the rejection. But if you have that entry on the line, of course your risk to reward is just unbelievable. And then it took off. Okay, so what will happen? And and the reason why I said the market should be going down is we have two, and we're just starting the swing buy phase. We have two more order, major order blocks. The one hour is here. And the four hours here because of the gap so huge i will really watch to see what the reaction is and the reaction okay these are stronger and of course they're all like the four hour one hour are always strong and then these are the minor ones that they will tap and so if you're patient enough like i wasn't up at this time i wish i could have been down here look at this 130 this would of course this is what it would have been the entry i wanted and to see to go to the view app or continue on and but as you can see right now nothing's happening but now if we put it into perspective this is a 15 minute chart let's say before the the impulse move of this order block from here to here Think about it, those are two more bars. Two more bars on a four hour time frame. So if you really think about it, these are blocks as well. They're building a new block breakout on each side. But what you know is that what will happen, it will, if it rejects, we can take the trade. It might reject the second time, take the trade. It could, or it will start breaking down. If it starts breaking down, now we have another zone of interest from here to here of major of longer time frame and here to here one or the other and then what i have is because i'm depending what time frame you're trading in i made order blocks of current time frame so if it broke down on on this order block let me see here this order block failed because it went up came down just blasted through so this is useless but what we what we know is I'm using this information here to say we are in a selling phase or still selling for the day. It was a very crazy number this morning. And so I wanted to wait for the, the market to rally in the beginning. And my trade was just pulling back down. But because I had my market maker, what I created of how many months ago. And as you can see, if we look to the left to trade light where the resistance was, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this on. I'm not sure if you can see it. But where is wicking? Right here. This wick here. I'm going to go across. Just almost in this market maker. Now, if you add everything together. Whoops. That. If you want to add everything together. We have to punch through a market maker an order block and an order block so if you if you know that you have this resistance an order block or two order blocks and the market maker best bet would be to buy in and take a trade now because we're in well we're almost at the 11 30 session quarter after 11 11 30 we're selling below the vwap maybe we can get a short in everything's aiming down right now on the 15th Right now, I personally don't like the position of any of these trades. My trade would have been on the VWAP going down. So, and, and it's been quite range bound, as you can see, it's just playing around. But the key is, the key is if you have the patience, if you have the patience and you look at all, all well, not just the indicators, but the structure of the market, you know the areas of interest for myself ultimate interest would be of course here and or here go 
further down. And of course, ultimately, here, because that was the lowest area of the market, right here. So you got one, two, and three. And that's your patient game. And once you do that, you can jump into a trade and hopefully let her run or choose your, your profit targets. And while I'm looking at that, I'm looking at, of course, structure, because I'm now I'm on a 15 minute chart. I'm looking at to see if, if uh, my Williams is starting to follow that phase. I'm watching this one. We do have one white candle possibly going up, but this is pushing down too early. So this kind of is nullifying each other. And as you can see, everything's just vibrating. So why do we need that? Now, the thing I was watching as well this morning is because if you've been following me for a while, I do like my day trend. And the day trend, when I looked at it earlier in the night, this, uh, where was it? at 2 a.m. No, I was I was up at this time when I did the video. So you can see the very first day trend worked really well for the BWAP. And then this this day trend hit look at look at this uh block on a day trend so we know we got another trade. Now this one down here comes down, nothing happened. We're above the VWAP, so we got basically both there going back to market maker. And I was watching this one this morning and i didn't feel comfortable with it because it didn't tap and go my favorite trade is it will literally tap and go but this one broke down so when i see that i usually know that the market will continue to go down you just have to give it time because if i look at previous other examples and then i'm going to wrap this video up but find one a perfect one for you where are you? Where are you? Let me grab this. Let me see if I can find one. Right here. See how it just ticked? That's what I look for. And away it goes. And the second one was just a little minor tick and away you go. And many times it will just, just shave it. Like this one here, just shaving. Those are the ones I like. Then I know for sure. I, I feel very comfortable. Same thing here. It's tapping one. Very tight though, but it just tapped and went. But see, that's... Uh, I want to find the perfect one. And that's how I use uh, what I look for my met my methodologies. And as you can see now, I could actually... Uh, quarter after 11? Yeah, I could probably take a trade and take this down. Other than that, just make sure you pinpoint your trades. Trade safe, guys. And you guys have a great day. Take care.